Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good today, tonight, whenever you're watching this. I haven't really been uploading to this channel much lately, you know, because I've been kind of trying to cut away from politics and, you know, a few other things lately. But I want to talk about this subject that I've been hearing about a lot the past few days. And if you guys see that light behind me, it's a uh, lamp that I got for Christmas a few years ago. You know, I usually plug that in during the daytime because I think it looks cool sometimes I leave it on at night but for most part I shut it off but um yeah it changes colors and all but anyways I'm sorry I'm trying to get to the subject now so a lot of you guys have been hearing a lot about the Tyree Nichols situation where these five cops in Memphis beat them up pretty badly you know pretty much beat him to death you know he didn't die the same exact night he ended up dying three days later in a hospital which is pretty sad you know i will say that right now and for that you know my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody in his family and all of his friends you know that is pretty sad that that had to happen you know i i watched the clips of what happened and it was pretty terrifying to watch i will say that right now you know that was pretty messed up now before i voice my opinion and say what i have to say i will say this right now yes i am pro law enforcement i support our law enforcement 100 percent you know i understand that there are cops out there that have done some pretty bad things and for that I do not support, you know, everybody, everybody out there that supports law enforcement can agree that there have been some cops out there that have been, that have done some pretty nasty things. And to every cop out there that has done something bad, I don't condone what they do. I think any cop out there that does anything bad should be held accountable for their actions so with all that being said so like i said i watched videos of the incident that happened with tyree nichols and let me tell you i was pretty disgusted like really really disgusted by what i saw in the videos you know, the videos were shown on the news, you know, shown online. And, you know, some of the YouTubers out there that I watch, like Officer Tatum, you know, Donut Operator, you know, a lot of them have even shown the videos on what happened. And it was pretty horrible to watch. I'm not going to lie. You know, um, Officer Tatum, you know, a lot of the videos he played, well... The entire video that he showed did not have sound and you know there were some things that were missed that he didn't point out which no disrespect to officer tatum you know i watch a lot of his videos and i do agree with a lot of things he said but there were quite a few things that he didn't point out that he should have pointed out that were shown in the videos donut operator on the other hand you know he pretty much showed pretty much everything that happened he had to kind of skip through some things which okay maybe that's what officer tatum did as well you know again i'm not knocking officer tatum but you know there were some things that he missed but at least with donut operator you know he he basically showed all of what happened you know basically um you know they both showed what the cops did in the video and it was pretty disgusting to watch oh i will say this right now it'd be one thing if the cops were trying to get the man on the ground and try and put handcuffs on him but instead you know you hear those cops you know talking this and that going i'm gonna beat the fuck out of you if you don't cooperate oh you better do this you better do that or else this is gonna happen you know you got cops are just pepper spraying him non-stop 
you got cops that were there that were kicking the dude and punching him, you know, doing all this shit. You know, basically, at that point, they weren't even doing their jobs. You know, basically, they were acting way above the law, you know, hurting that dude. Basically, you know, they could have knocked him out. Or possibly killed him right there. Which, either way, he ended up dying a few days later. And that's pretty sad. And for those of you that don't know, which I should have said... that blah, blah, blah. I should have addressed this before I started saying all this. But, basically, you know, he got pulled over for some traffic violations. Basically, you know, he was driving like an idiot and, uh, you know... I don't know. I I did watch some clips about that. They didn't really show videos of him driving like an idiot. You know, the videos I saw, it was body cams. And, you know, that was it. You know, other than some of the cameras that were set up on, like, utility poles. But, you know, I did watch, like I said, I watched a lot of the videos and basically they said that, you know, he was being pulled over for traffic violations, but, you know, they come up to a traffic light, you know, the cops get out of the car and go up to his car, basically kind of pulled him out and started beating him up, you know, being like, you better do this, you better do that, you better do this or else... This and that's going to happen. And at that point, you know, Tyree was basically scared. Because, you know, those cops were acting aggressive, you know. And, you know, he claimed he didn't have a clue on what all was going on. You know, he basically claimed he wasn't doing anything wrong. Which, you know, you know, that's a whole different subject to talk about. But regardless, man, you know. The way those cops acted was pretty fucked up. I will say that right now. See, you know, it's cops like these five cops that were there beating the fuck out of this dude that give several other cops out there bad names. You know, cops that don't even do anything bad in their life. You know, they don't do bad, bad business a day in their life. And it's cops like these... That give them bad names. You know, I got a friend that works as a police department. Or a police officer, excuse me. My apologies. And let me tell you, you know, he became a cop. I'd say about a year or so after the situation with George Floyd. You know, he always wanted to be a cop. And let me tell you, you know, he almost changed his mind about being a cop because of all the nonsense that happened. You know, considering a lot of cops out there end up getting treated like shit, you know, all because of what certain cops out there do. You know, like the cop that killed George Floyd, you know, that was, you know... We could all agree that that was a pretty screwed up situation, which I'll kind of get into that situation a little more later on in this video. But the way that many other cops out there get treated, you know, that, uh, that didn't stop him from wanting to become a cop completely, you know, but still. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I respect and support law enforcement. But there are a lot of law enforcement officers out there that I do not respect. And it's cops like these. Those five cops down in Memphis that beat the fuck out of that dude. That was not cool. That was very unacceptable. And you know what? I'm glad those cops were fired. I'm glad that those cops are facing charges and possibly looking at prison time. If anything, those cops should face the rest of their life behind bars for what they did. That was some pretty sick shit right there. Now with all that being said, 
to everybody out there that's sitting there saying things like, oh, well, they were only fired because they were black, you know. You know, if they were white, this probably would have not have happened. Man, shut the fuck up. Did you not watch any of the videos that were put out there? Like, seriously, man. You know, those cops acted way out of hand. And they basically acted like they were above the law at that point. Even if those cops were to be white cops and they did the same shit, I'd still say that they deserve to be fired and face the rest of their life behind bars. See, I fucking hate when people bring race into bullshit like this. I mean, look at... Derek Chauvin, for an example. That dude basically stayed on top of George Floyd, wouldn't get off of George Floyd. And look what happened to him. He got fired from his job, and he's facing a very long time in prison, as he should be. And those other cops that were there, that didn't do anything, they just stood there and watched him do that. They should face the same exact time behind bars. You know, the thing with what happened in Memphis. Not one time did I hear any of those cops say, Okay, that's enough. Get off of him. Put handcuffs on him. Stop what you're doing. Quit beating the fuck out of him. You guys are being too rough. I didn't hear a single cop in that video say any of those things. And that's pretty messed up. All of those cops basically just kicked that dude's ass nonstop and didn't give a single fuck about the fact that he was hurting and the fact that he was scared as well. So yeah, regardless of what their race is, you know, considering they all beat the fuck out of that dude, yeah, they should all be fired. And they should all face the rest of their lives behind prison. I will say that right now. Now I'll probably receive some comments on this video from anti-cop people that are that usually go around saying things like fuck the police, you know, all cops are bad, all cops are bastards, all cops deserve this and that, blah 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 blah. They're gonna comment on this video. And be like, well, you know what, what do you expect? You know, cops out there, you know, all cops act like wild animals that think they're above the law, blah, 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 blah. No, the fuck. That is not the case at all. Like I said, there are several police officers that are actually good. They do their job like they're supposed to. And they don't act like these cops in Memphis those five cops anyways, not talking all cops in Memphis, but those five cops in particular. And to anybody out there that's going to justify what these cops did to that guy, they're going to be like, well, you don't know what all happened. Man, I don't give a shit about what exactly happened. Yes, I get that there were times where that dude actually did resist arrest. You know, he forced himself up and ran from cops. But, like I said, did you see the way those cops acted? Like, seriously. That was pretty messed up. You know, there are even people writing comments, you know, making comments on videos that were from Officer Tatum and Donut Operator, you know, where people were saying, you know, as somebody that worked as a police officer or currently works as a police officer, all I gotta say is, you know, that was not cool. That was pretty messed up. You know, that was some sick shit. And you know what? I agree. That was some pretty sick shit. What I will say, though, is, you know, one of the sad things about this situation that happened is, you know, you're going to have a lot of people going around, you know, causing chaos, possibly 
causing riots, you know, burning shit down. You know, you're going to have groups like Antifa or Black Lives Matter talking about how all cops are bad, you know. Basically talk about how America is some corrupted land that, you know, you, f fuck, the list continues. You guys have seen it with a lot of these situations, you know. I mean, look at what all happened after George Floyd was killed. Like, man, you know, still to this day, you know, the amount of shit that happened in this country after George Floyd was killed, that was pretty messed up. And, you know, Tyree's family even said, look, you know, if you guys want to protest, you know, do it peacefully, but don't go around burning buildings down or causing chaos or any of that shit, you know, and sad thing is, people are going to do that anyways, which is pretty sad, man. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are going to end up suffering all because of something that a group of cops did to the this one guy there in Memphis, you know. And that's pretty sad. So, for the closing of this video, I will say these things right now. Again, my heart goes out to everybody that was close to Tyree Nichols. You know, my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody in his family, all of his friends, and everybody else that cared for him. To all the cops out there that actually do their jobs, and they would never do anything like what those cops did, you guys have my respect, 100%. And I will say that I hope and pray that you guys all never have to deal with anything like this, that you guys can just do your jobs, go home to your family or those that care for you in a way. And that's that. To everybody out there that's going to cause chaos, though, and burn shit down, you know, go around hurting people, possibly killing some people out there, all because of this situation. Let me tell you, you're not any better than what those cops did in Memphis. Same thing to everybody that caused chaos from what happened with George Floyd. You know, everybody in Black Lives Matter or Antifa that's going around causing chaos, starting shit, and, you know, ruining other people's lives all because of something that happened to somebody else. If you're any of those people, fuck you. That's all I'm going to say. And also, fuck those cops that beat the hell out of that dude. Just saying. But anyways, that's really all I got to say for this video. I probably pissed some people off for making this video. And you know what? I don't care. That's not my problem. If you do agree with what I'm saying, you know, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, you know. I normally upload political videos to this channel or, you know, videos that are similar to politics. And every now and then, you know, I'll have a day where I upload a bunch of TikTok videos to this channel. You know, if it might be something similar to politics or, you know, just certain random events, you know. But anyways, that's really all I got to say. This is Mike the Conservative Michigander here, and I hope everybody's having a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this. You know, be sure to hug your loved ones, you know, because you never know when things like this can happen, you know. Sad thing is, you know, we live in a society where, you know, a lot of people think that these types of things are okay, and it just, it breaks my heart to see what today's society has become you know it really does but um yeah anyways you guys take care now
And happy late new year, by the way.